So, you want to know how I saved enough money to buy a 50k car? I'll tell you. I make money on life. I make money on time. I wish that does not happen because a lot of brands decide not to pay me on time, which is great. <clears throat> I have notes here so if I am looking at my notes it's because I want this video to be very informative for you so please excuse that okay I made a video all about getting my new car which was a Tesla Model 3 absolutely love that car I'll link the video over here and then following that video I made another video telling you guys about the finances of the car how I managed to save a lot of money on that car. A lot of the comments on both of those videos were asking me to talk about how exactly I managed to save and make that amount of money to be able to actually buy the car. So I'm doing that in this video for you. Before we get into it, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps me out a ton and it really, really helps me to create more videos. So please just hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Lastly, this video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on that in a minute. So in order to give you guys the full picture, I'm going to take you guys right back to the beginning. In the UK, you're allowed to work from whenever you receive your national insurance card. When I was 16, I was so excited to receive my national insurance card because it meant I can make my own money and not have to ask my parents for any money when I needed it. They did support me, but I'm, I'll get into that later down the line. I've always had this urge to be able to get what I want from the money that I've made and not have to think about whether it's okay to ask for money for anything. My dad is the most giving person you will ever meet. But even then, I just, it didn't sit right with me to have all these requests of like, oh, I want a new makeup palette, I want a new hair curler, and my dad having to give me money for that. I just wanted to make it myself. So in 2011, when I was around 15, 16 years old, I landed my first job as a Saturday school teaching assistant, which sounds really weird because I was really young at the time, but it was for kids and it was an Islamic school and it was teaching them pretty simple stuff. The kids were really young. That was my first job and that paid me minimum work wage and minimum wage for a 15 to 16 year old is like peanuts in the UK but I absolutely loved it because it meant I was making my own money. So that Saturday school was a few hours a week and that paid me around £15 a week at best really. I did that for about a year or two so let's say like a year and a half. That means I made around £1,000 from that job which is really not bad for a 15 to 16 year old who just goes to school every day. Before I let you carry on, I actually forgot another part of my career was actually doing makeup on others. I was a makeup artist back in the day. I did one bride on two of her occasions. I also did prom makeup. I only did that I think for one summer because I had like a nightmare client. So I was like, I cannot do this for a living. So I just kind of scrapped that. But good to try new things and this was when I was I believe between year 11 and year 12 so in that summer is when I tried to do makeup I think anyway I was young I was like in school college kind of time say hi to Nunush so about two years later in 2013, I started making videos on YouTube and I only made two videos that year and I still remember them. They were so bad. <laughs> they weren't actually that bad. They got a decent amount of views, so I'm grateful for that. But I only made those two videos and then a year later is when I actually started putting some more time and effort into YouTube and I made probably at least one video a month and they were mainly makeup videos. I didn't start making money from YouTube straight away. After a few months, I believe, I made a YouTube partner and I was able to monetize my videos and when I started YouTube I also started Instagram so I was really trying to grow my brand grow my business and I remember thinking when I was in college or something I remember thinking I can really do this part-time put a lot of effort into it and by the time I graduate uni it might be sustainable enough long term to actually do this after I graduate for a really good amount of income that I would get a similar amount from a graduate job I I carried on doing YouTube until, well now, but through sixth form, through uni, through like my studies, which got a little bit difficult sometimes, but I stuck with it. And then in 2014, I also got a job as a beauty consultant on an Urban Decay counter in Debenhams. I absolutely loved 
it some days, some days I didn't really love it that much. I really loved some parts of this job because I loved makeup. I still love makeup, but back then it was like, it, it just gave me so much happiness. I loved getting new palettes. I loved creating different looks. I actually did a purple eye look today which was really normal for me back in the day. I kept that job for about a year. That job allowed me something called an allocation. Uh, we were allowed, I think, a few hundred pounds a year to spend on makeup, which was kind of part of our uniform. I used that allocation to fuel my YouTube videos as well. I remember getting gifted a smoky palette. I was so excited to receive that palette. I, I can't even put it to words. I was ecstatic. I created a whole video about it and both of those jobs kind of helped each other because when I was working on counter, I probably mentioned to customers that I make YouTube videos as well and Instagram. So that was a really good time. And at the time I, I was about so 2015, I was in my first year of uni, still pretty young, but I was doing two part-time jobs at that time, the Urban Decay job and YouTube and Instagram. This job was also a minimum wage kind of job but I did get commission still remember my payslips from Urban Decay. I think they were around 220 at base after commission, like 50 pounds commission or whatever. Hey Siri, what's 220 times 12? 220 times 12 is 2,640. Okay, so that's how much I made from that job in a year, 2,640. And then I also had a little bit of income from Instagram and YouTube. At this time, I don't believe I had any sponsorships. So it was just like Google AdSense revenue that was paying me for the whole YouTube and Instagram thing. In total, I probably made around 3,000 pounds while I was at uni. So yeah. So I had that Urban Decay job for one year while I was at uni and then it was all getting a bit too much to juggle. I quit Urban Decay, but then I was still focusing on Instagram and YouTube. Also, I saw a lot more potential in YouTube as opposed to being a beauty consultant on a counter. And then in 2015, I had around 20,000 followers at this point as well. So I could really see myself growing and really trying to build this brand on Instagram and YouTube. Throughout the other two years, my dad helped me get through uni I got a little bit of money every month just so that I could leave the Urban Decay job and not have to worry about money. It wasn't like a huge amount, but it was enough. Like it was all I needed for uni. I really didn't need much to get through it. And then I was also getting a little bit from YouTube and Instagram. So since 2015, all of my income has been coming from Instagram and YouTube. From YouTube and Instagram, I have three revenue streams. There isn't a huge amount I can say, but I'm really gonna try and say it as much as I can so that this video is actually actually beneficial for you and you guys can then gauge what influencers make and why. The first thing I'll talk about is AdSense. So I've already made a video dedicated to AdSense and how much YouTube paid me in 2020. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it there. So in that video, I tell you exactly how much I got paid from AdSense. And then the second revenue stream is affiliate linking. With this, I make a small commission with every purchase that someone makes from a link that I've linked. So if I've linked something in the description box, I make a small commission from every sale. My income from this is really, really varied and it depends how much work I put into this and I can boost these sales sometimes, but sometimes I don't want to because I don't want to be too pushy and if there isn't a good sale around, then I just won't really push affiliate links. But if something is really good and I really like something or there's really good sales going on that I know you guys would really appreciate knowing about, that's when I'll post more affiliate links. Another really good thing with affiliate links linking is the fact that I can make a makeup tutorial and a year later if that video gets pushed by YouTube's algorithm or if it's just still getting views people are still likely to click on those links and those purchases still count. So affiliate links, once they're out there, they're out there forever and you're able to earn a commission as long as those links are clickable. I do really like to do Wednesday wish lists and things like that for my followers on Instagram. If you're not following me there, do follow me there. I post a lot more regularly on Instagram. Every week I'll do a wish list of the things that I'm really liking the look of, fashion things I'm interested in, beauty. I enjoy doing those Wednesday wish lists for you guys because I know a lot of you guys really like them as well. On to the biggest revenue source for a lot of YouTubers and content creators. Sponsorships are where the big bucks are at. 
I really can't say a whole lot here because I signed a lot of contracts. There's a lot of things that are in those contracts and I can't disclose fees. Whatever the brand is looking for, I'll usually have a fee for that or I can tailor the fees according to the briefs, etc. So I work on a really varied basis with brands. It really depends on what they're after and what their budget is. Contracts that are a couple of months long or like even a year long I've worked on, those are my absolute fave. They're great because they guarantee an income and that's one of the things that isn't great about my job. I don't know how much money I'm gonna make in any given month. I don't know how much money I'm gonna make next month, but God is great, he keeps it going. Which brings me on to a word from our sponsors, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes to choose from. There are classes on how to photograph and edit pictures for Instagram, how to chop like a chef, and even how to vlog from start to finish. This class by Emma Gannon called Discovering Success, seven exercises to uncover your purpose, passion, and path is really interesting. There are some great takeaways from that class, like really mapping out what it is that you love and choosing a fulfilling path you want to go down. There's no ads since the platform is specifically for learning and there's always new premium classes launching as well. It's less than $10 a month, which is great if you get the annual subscription, or if you're really quick, the first thousand of my subscribers will get a free trial from clicking the link in the description box. So to sum that all up for you, most of the savings that allowed me to buy my car mainly came from sponsorships, but also a nice amount came from affiliate linking as well. But of course, a lot of that is also down to being able to save my money. I, in my opinion, save my money quite well. I like to splurge, but I know what I wanna splurge on and I think about it for like at least a month. So I think I'm pretty good at saving. Do you guys want a video on saving? Also, it's really, really important to remember camera stop recording. It's also really, really important to remember that I still live with my family so I don't have many outgoings. And you know, I'm really, really fortunate to have built my brand to a place where brands will actually gift me things that I'm really wanting. And I can shoot an email to a brand and nine times out of 10, they'll be willing to gift me whatever I have my eye on. And I don't take that for granted. I have you guys to thank for that. There is no way, Jose, I would have been able to afford my car, afford this as a way of life if you guys weren't supporting me and my channel so thank you so much for that um yeah i get really awkward saying thank you but thank you so much the fact that i live with my parents i don't pay rent i don't pay bills and i'm able to save most of what i make towards things like buying my car but don't compare yourself to other people because everyone's situations are so so different and then one final pointer about making money online i just thought i'd mention is the fact that you have to add some kind of value to someone's life if you want to make money online whether that's being really entertaining and people just wanted to watch your videos for your personality or whether you suggest really really good pieces that you know your audience would really like there's so many ways that you can add value to people's life we've all got something to give I feel and again that class was really informative for this so if you want to check out Skillshare be sure to check the description box and start your free trial so that's all let me know if you want a video on how I save and I will see you guys in my next one bye ਸੁਫਨੇ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਓੜ ਹਾਏ ਓ ਰੱਬ ਖੈਰ ਕਰੇ